Hello, in this video, we're going to do a proof. So let alpha and beta be complex numbers. Prove that the modulus of alpha times beta is equal to the modulus of alpha times the modulus of beta. So let's go ahead and go through the proof. proof. So to prove this, what we're going to do to make things easier is we're basically going to prove that this squared is equal to this squared. And the reason we're going to do that is because there's a very powerful thing that we can do with the modulus squared. So recall, if you have a complex number, z, and you take the modulus and you square it, that's equal to z times the conjugate of z, okay? So this is a very, very powerful um, formula, and it's basically what we're going to use here in this problem, okay? So let's go ahead and start by basically looking at the expression or the quantity or the number, rather, the modulus of alpha beta, okay, squared. And so what is this? So using this super powerful formula, this is equal to parentheses alpha beta times the conjugate of alpha beta. Now, the conjugate distributes over the product. That's the property of complex numbers. So you can write this as alpha beta, alpha conjugate, beta conjugate. You can drop the parentheses because the multiplication is associative, so there's no issue with parentheses. You can be very free and you know abusive here. You don't really need to like show every instance of you know associativity. And also um, multiplication of complex numbers is commutative. So we can take this a step further and write this as alpha times alpha conjugate, beta times beta conjugate. And so now we can invoke our super powerful formula one, once more and write this as the modulus of alpha squared times the modulus of beta squared. Right, so we can write this now as the modulus of alpha, modulus of beta squared, simply using properties of real numbers, right? Because remember the modulus of alpha is a real number. Same thing with the modulus of beta. It's also called the absolute value of the complex number alpha. So now we have that the absolute value of the complex number alpha beta squared is equal to this here. So taking the square root, so taking the square root of both sides, we have the modulus of alpha beta is equal to the modulus of alpha times the modulus of beta which is what we intended to show from the very beginning. So that's it. I hope this uh, proof has helped someone out there in the world who is learning a little bit of mathematics. Good luck.